Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you how our Mindstorm 4 project works. Our Mindstorm 4 project was vending machine, and uh, every group has been given a uh, unique sequence. For our group, the sequence is NNDN, which is nickel dime dime. So, without this sequence, uh, the output of this uh, circuit, which is a nitride light, will not work. In this circuit, uh, you can see this portion is uh, our night trader to the circuit. Here is the input filter and the LPM counter for the clock uh, generator from 1 Hz to 100 Hz. Our night trader circuit uh, works in 1 Hz and the input filter, the D flip flop, and uh, the symbol for our board state, mini state, one hot, and binary will work in 100 Hz. So we have been given four tasks to do, like we have to make a one uh, more state uh, diagram, one mini state. With the help of more state, we have to make one hot, and uh, with mini state, we have to make a binary logic diagram. So for the more state, how it works? We have uh, five state here, like for the state one, it's uh, zero. And this one is a N, N, D, N for our sequence N, N, D, N. So for the first state, if uh, it's, it uh, detect a nickel, not time, it will go to the next state. If it detect no nickel, no time, it will remain in the same state. In the next state, if it detect nickel and no time, it will go to the next state. And then the next state. It if it detect nickel no time it will remain in the same state but if it detect uh, time it will go to the next state so in the time uh, state if it detect nickel it will go to n3 and give a uh, output 1 which we have declared here in the action the output k is equal to 1 in state n3 so if we run this uh, circuit and uh, see the waveform, we can easily understand the output. So this is our waveform. If we run this waveform, you can see if it's dime, nickel, dime, dime, there's no output, our output is K. If it's a nickel, nickel, dime, nickel, which is a sequence, the output is here. If we give nickel, 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 time, nickel, still there is an output. So our next task was to make a mini state diagram. So for the mini state, it's a more uh, simpler than uh, the more state, and uh, there is also one state lesser than the more one. In this state, we have uh, four state like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Right. and 1 1 so for the first state when it is 0 0 if it detect n not time it will go to the next state and in this state if it detect time not nickel it will go back to 0 0 again in this state if it detect nickel not time it will go to the next state and if it detect time not nickel it will go to this state in this state if it detect nickel not time then it will go to the initial state we have declared here the action like the output k in state this state if it detect nickel not time it will go it will give an output if we run the waveform for this one
you can see here if it's little nickel dime nickel the output is there but this output uh, is little bit different from the more one the more one you can see is uh, from the rising edge and then it uh, detect another rising edge and it goes down but here it don't work like that the input is uh, the output so it's a synchronizer uh, output we have to make a change here like for the more one more one the output it is not register but for the mini one we have to register this output we have to make register this output the time clock cycle so this one is the mini and more waveform you can see it is working so now we're gonna move forward to one hot so one hot circuit is actually built on based on a more so if we run the on uh, one hot Here you can see the output is quite similar to the mini one. Like this one is the mini more one. Sorry, the more one. Uh, before uh, this one is the more uh, waveform. So in the more waveform, you can see the output uh, and uh, the one hot output is similar because uh, the one hot is uh, built based on the more state diagram. So after that we have the binary which is built based on the mini one so mini one here we have to make a k map to build this binary circuit for this mini one we have some conditions like when the state is zero zero and the input is zero zero the next state will be zero zero but when the in, in present state is 0, 0, the input is 0, 1, 1 is nickel. When nickel is 1, the next state will be 0, 1. As we can see in the melee, if nickel is 1, it will move to the next state. So it moves to the next state. Then if time is 1, n is 0, it will go to 0, 0. So it will go to 0, 0 but the output will be zero as uh, the output is only one in the state fulfilling after fulfilling the condition if both is one one dime and uh, nickel which is uh, not legal like uh, in this circuit it's not possible to give uh, two input uh, together so it's uh, don't care for the next state zero one which is this state for the zero one, if uh, time is zero, time is zero, nickel is zero. The next state will be zero one, same as this state zero 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 one. It will remain in this state. Then when uh, the nickel is one, then it will move to the next state because when nickel is one, it will go to this state. In this state, if a dime is 1, this is 0, it will go to 0, 0. Then again, it uh, will have a 1, 1, which is a don't care condition. In 1, 0 state, this one, 1, 0 state, if it's, uh, if it's 0, 0, it will remain in this state. If it detect nickel, it will uh, remain in this state. If it detect time, it will go to the next state will move to the next state which is this one so in this state it will remain the output will be zero because uh, it didn't fulfill the condition yet that uh, n and d n so it will remain in this state again we have a don't care condition next in the one one state this state if it detect zero zero it will remain here if it detect zero one one is nickel 
nickel so we have put in our action bar one n and not time if it detect this one it will give an output one if it detect one zero it will go back to zero like it will go back to zero the initial state and one one again it is don't care so we made uh, a k map using uh, a software in a web in online is for variable k map so we found three equation we have three equation of one we have three equation for uh, q1 plus q0 plus and k so for q1 plus our equation is this one and uh, for uh, q0 plus our equation is this one and the final k the equation is so simple y is equal to a b d based on these equations we made our binary circuit and uh, now we are gonna run this one and let's see what we get So for the waveform <laughs> Here we can see if a dime nickel nickel dime dime it will not give any output here because the sequence is nickel nickel dime nickel whatever if there is 3 nickel or 4 nickel it doesn't matter the sequence is nickel nickel dime nickel so it will count nickel nickel dime nickel it will give an output again you can see the output is asynchronous because this uh, circuit is based on the mini circuit if we open the previous uh, mini waveform you can uh, compare this one like the waveform is same because uh, the one the binary one is made uh, based on mini finest state machine so we make symbol for this four diagram or circuit then uh, we can put here like now is this the most state we have this one is the most state we have the mini state we have uh, one hot and uh, we have make a binary symbol this one is the binary symbol so we can just put it here the more state every state works uh, like same the logic is same when it detect n n d n it will give output one so here we have used one d flip flop one or gate so why we use the d flip flop and or gate when it become 1 and uh, the d flip flop initially the output is 0 so for or gate the truth table when a 0 0 it will give 0 but when it's 1 0 or 0 1 it will give 1 so if this one is 0 and this one is 1 it will give 1 so for d flip flop if the input is 1 output is 1 if input is 0 output is 0 so if it's 1 it will become 1 the output will become 1 the count enable will uh, activate or enable and the night rider light will start working so after a while this one becomes 0 but it is still remain 1 because the input is 1 until it uh, it will not become 0 until it is cleared which is connected to the last light of our night rider the night rider light is actually uh, active high like it always uh, remain uh, high so when uh, the turn of f comes it will become low as uh, the clear is active low it will uh, clear the d flip flop and it will again become zero and the clock of uh, the d flip flop is uh, connected with the clock of the input filter so it can match the frequency together and work perfectly the clock for this uh, two 
and uh, the state is 100 hours which is uh, way faster than our night trader the night trader clock is only one hour which is more slower than this thing and uh, the night trader when uh, the last light uh, blow up the not get it will become one and it will clear the screen and it will go back to it in its uh, initial state and this one will reset also this state diagram or the symbols of uh, the more state in state one hot and binary so we can easily put uh, any symbol here like uh, this one is the more state we can also put uh, mini state here the purpose of or the working principle is same it's not different So the working principle is same. So that's uh, our project for, for Milestone 4. I hope uh, you understand how our Milestone 4 works and thank you for watching.